It was Riff Raff who declared, It's astounding. Time is fleeting. And that evil handyman was onto something. Time goes by so fast, and we spend much of our time ruminating over yesterday's mistakes or worrying about tomorrow's stress. But we forget the most important fact of life. We live here, now. And only this moment exists for certain. This is the simple yet life-altering secret to a happier and healthier life, living in the present. Not only does it lead to better mental health, it also helps you create a better future. And today, I'm talking about how to do that. So, let's talk. Hi, I'm Jeremy Godwin. I'm a writer and mental health counsellor, and I spend a lot of time working with people on how to focus more on the present, instead of allowing themselves to be distracted by the past or the future. I believe it was the ancient philosopher Madonna who declared that life is a mystery, and a big part of that mystery involves learning how to focus your awareness on the here and now, embracing each moment as it unfolds without the weight of past regrets or future anxieties. So let's talk about what focusing on the present means. Basically, it's a mental state where your attention and actions are entirely in the current moment. When it comes to your mental health, it's a way to calm your mind's tendency to wander into thoughts of stress and uncertainty. It's about really appreciating the current while subtly sowing seeds for a more fulfilling future. Which leads to why focusing on the present matters. And it matters because it helps to root you in reality, providing a stable foundation from which to approach life's challenges. It's transformative. By focusing your thoughts on the present, you reduce the power of past traumas and future worries, paving the way for a more resilient and adaptable mindset. So now let's talk through five easy ways to be present. Tip one, learn to savor small pleasures. Life is made up of a series of mostly small moments, yet we tend not to pay too much attention to them, which is a shame, because that means we're not paying attention to life. Start to notice and appreciate the small joys in your daily life more, like a warm cup of tea or coffee, a nice sunny day, or a pleasant conversation with someone. This awareness of little details helps to keep your mind focused on the present. Tip 2. Set intentions for your day. Many of us just jump into action in the morning when we tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen, just like Dolly Parton in her song 9 to 5, although it's more like 8 to 6 these days, am I right? Instead, take a few minutes each morning to set your intentions for the day. How do you want to be? What's your focus? Doing this helps guide your actions and thoughts in a focused and mindful way, keeping you anchored in the present throughout the day. I have a simple daily planning and reflection tool available on my website to help you do that. It's linked in the episode description. Tip 3. Listen to your body. Pay attention to the physical sensations in your body. If you're feeling tense or tired, take a break, adjust your posture, or have a stretch. Tuning into your body's needs more helps you to stay in touch with the present moment. Tip 4. Use reminders for mindfulness. It's easy to forget things when we get caught up in our busy days, so place little notes for yourself or set alarms as reminders to pause and gently bring your attention back to the present. This can be a simple prompt to breathe deeply or to just take a moment to observe your surroundings, serving to reconnect you with the present. Tip 5. Reflect before bed. Instead of just lurching from day to day, spend a few minutes each night reflecting on your day. Acknowledge three things that happened that you feel grateful for, as well as the main one or two things you learned that day. Doing this daily helps you to grow because it encourages you to be more self-aware. Again, the PDF tool for sale on my website can help you to do that in a simple and structured way. Here's the thing. Incorporating these practices into your daily life doesn't require some monumental change. It's about small, consistent efforts that gradually steer your mind towards a more present-focused perspective, helping you be more self-aware and setting you up for greater success in the future. You've got this. 
If this video was helpful, please give it a like, and you can listen to me share more tips on the present and other topics in the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. There's a link to it in the description, or head to ltamh.com. Thanks for joining me today, and talk to you next time. Thank you to my amazing Patreon supporters. Join now for early episode access and ad-free content. It's linked in the episode description.